In today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can build muscle fast. Now we keep coming across videos from younger bros with the message that you can keep getting bigger. They're using the point of reference of how much they weighed at the end of their bulking phase, as opposed to how much they weighed at the end of their cutting phase after they stripped away the excess fat that they gained from the muscle building process. Now, it wasn't that long ago I recorded a video response to Alex Leonidas, Alpha Destiny, where he's talking about how you can keep getting bigger, how he keeps getting bigger, how at the end of each bulking phase, he's weighed more and more and more. But just because you weigh more doesn't mean you've gained more muscle. At the end of each cutting phase, he showed that he weighed less and less and less. Mind you, he was leaner and leaner and leaner, so it's really tough to gauge how much muscle he actually gained during those recent muscle building phases. Now, this most recent muscle building phase he took a nice slow and steady process to gain 60 pounds, going up to 204 pounds, the most he's ever weighed at the end of a bulking phase. He shed that fat and it does look like he gained some muscle, maybe two to three pounds. So nothing huge, certainly not fast gains there. It's what you expect for a natural lifter with years of lifting experience. Now he's in his mid twenties and you can see that gains are starting to slow down. Another young bro, Jeremy Ethier, Ethier, sorry brother if I'm butchering your name there, he put out a video, how I built muscle fast using new research. Great video, highly recommend it, very informative there, but it would be even better if there was a little bit more transparency there. Now, he does mention that his gains did come to a halt, like he stopped gaining muscle there. This is a guy, young, and applying all the new research all the freaking time and not making any muscle gains. Then all of a sudden, new research comes along and he was able to gain a lean 20 pounds. What is that new research? loaded stretching. It's nothing new. I've been writing about it, recording videos on it for the past eight years. It is my by far favorite advanced training technique. So good, especially for us experienced bros, us advanced lifter. It's great for our joints, great for our tendons, it can increase the growth response there. Um, so growth hormone, it's just so many benefits to incorporating this into your training practice. I freaking love it, but I've been applying it consistently for the past eight years. I'm not blowing up. I didn't gain 20 lean pounds uh, by applying this uh, to my training there. So here's the, here's the thing. There's nothing breakthrough. There's nothing magical about loading stretching, but I highly recommend you incorporate it into your overall training. I wouldn't expect you to gain 20 pounds. And here's the thing. Throw it, at least give Jeremy credit throughout the video saying it's not all muscle. But I think even he would be surprised at how little muscle is that he gained out of that 20 pounds there. It wouldn't surprise me if it's like maybe a pound, if he was to cut down and get to that uh, same level of leanness, he was at the end of this 16 month muscle building phase. And again, that's not fast. <laughs> a 16 month muscle building phase um, isn't, I think most people would say, like if they you told them 20 pounds in three months or four months, that would be more exciting and more fast. But uh, yeah, 16 months, isn't fast, but I, it's really ideally in my situation, in my, in my opinion there, especially for a guy his age with his lifting experience to gain just over a pound per month during that muscle building phase is an incredibly smart approach. Now for myself, over 30 years of lifting experience, 47 years young, I slow it down a little bit more, just a little less than a pound per month when I'm going through a muscle building phase myself. So he's doing all the right things there. I think he took an incredible, so there's lots to learn from his muscle building phase. And you can see that even for him, uh, a young bro taking a nice slow and steady approach to building muscle, not expecting huge gains uh, in a short term there. So that is a huge takeaway um, from this video as well. Lots of other good takeaways in there. But again, when it comes to gaining 20 pounds, I think you'd be really surprised at how little that is muscle. Now, I've gone through many muscle building phases in the past where I've gained 30 pounds, I've gained 20 pounds. I've shared them all on my channel here. You guys, I document the whole process. I'm not like, at the end of the bulking phase, I'm like, look how much I gain here. I'm, I, I look bigger. I definitely look fuller. Uh, but when I cut down, each time, it was about a pound of muscle gain. At this stage right now, it's maybe like ounces. It's a little less than a pound at this point. I expect those gains to slow down at this stage in the process. There is absolutely nothing fast about building muscle the more training you have under your belt. If you want to gain muscle fast, you basically got to turn back time and go back to your first year of lifting and try to apply everything that you learned all these years from your, your lifting experience and research and all that stuff. Like That's how you're going to gain muscle fast. If you've been lifting for any length of time, muscle gains are not going to come at a fat pace, fast pace. So you want to take a smart approach like Jeremy did with like gaining 
a pound uh, uh, per month or just a little bit over a pound per month or like myself, just under a pound per month, depending on how much experience, how much lifting experience you have under your belt. And more than anything, it's paying attention to how your body responds from previous muscle building phases. That's why I keep, I went from gaining 30 pounds my first muscle building phase to 20 pounds for a few muscle building phases, realizing there was no difference in muscle gain. I was just gaining more fat throughout the process to 10 pounds to my muscle building phases, realizing there's still no difference between if I gain 20 pounds or 10 pounds during a slow and steady muscle building phase, it all works out to the same muscle gains, just more fat gains. So you gotta pay attention to how your body responds to that muscle building process. What's best suited for you when it comes to how quickly you're gaining weight throughout the muscle building process. So again, the message of you can keep getting bigger. Yeah, you can. It's just gonna come at a slower and steady pace and you gotta modify your how you design your overall muscle building plan, like how your diet, how big you want your calorie uh, surplus to be, how your training is. Again, training, there's all different kinds of advanced training techniques. It's not gonna make a huge impact on how much you blow up. Don't be looking for the secret weapon when it comes to building muscle. You start applying this new research or whatever, so boom, I'm gonna gain huge amounts of weight, or huge amounts of muscle. You're gonna gain weight from adding in more calories, being in a calorie surplus and gaining some fat in the process, muscle glycogen, just filling yourself out. You're gonna look bigger shirt on. You can even see it like Jeremy's face and everything. Like, again, it's gonna be very surprising. Like, like I said with Alex, when he was cutting down, like, it's, I bet you didn't gain all that muscle in the process. And it's just a couple pounds, just a few pounds there. So again, all that bulking and cutting, just uh, if you enjoy it and you like those long cuts, go for it. Uh, but just be smart, be responsible uh, in the process. Do what is in your best interest. And again, just you just just have realistic expectations when it comes to your training experience, your lifting experience, your age, and how much muscle you should expect to gain from that process. Expect to gain muscle. Do everything you can to continue to squeeze out every ounce that you possibly can. But again, don't go thinking you're gonna gain 20 pounds this year in, 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 in pure muscle there. Uh, and if you do gain 20 pounds, again, you hear a lot of the bros injured, I'm, I'm bigger and all that stuff. And it's usually what they weigh at the end of the bulking phase. They strip away the fat like, oh man, it really wasn't that much muscle as I, I expected there. So again, it's perspective uh, and big picture approach there. So I hope you find value in this message here. Again, there are no fast muscle gains. If you're having expectations that you can build muscle fast, throw them out the freaking window because it's just, muscle building is a slow and steady process. Really, no matter what stage of the game you are after your first year or two of lifting, things are going to slow down dramatically. You just gotta put in your best effort and just enjoy the process. Just really have a lot of fun. What's going to allow you to spend more time in muscle building mode and less time in fat loss mode and really um, providing your body with an adequate amount of fuel to feel your best and perform your best most of the year on very little time where you're depriving yourself. So I hope you find value in today's message. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them more than anything. I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, your insights, share your feedback and your own personal experiences. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.